All right, we're trying to shoehorn this battery in here. I had it in there once already, but it slid up in the back side. So I put these plates up under here to keep it from going up. The uh, copper strips here act like shoehorns. They keep the path from scooting underneath the battery. And this one here just kind of bends around as you go in. So you can see I got to go in about a half inch to get it in all the way. So this is how you got to do it. So we'll try it again, see what happens. All right, I got it in here. I've been banging up my hands like this and pushing down and in. So you can see how the battery's inside the box line, but it's completely smashed out foam to nothing. This one's still okay back here. The problem is the battery's not sliding in like it should. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put the strap up around here and see if I can put some pressure on it. And, Try to work it in a little bit further. Keep playing with it. Okay, we got this uh, jammed in here. Pretty tight. It's in there, it's mounted. You can see how it cushions around a little bit. The uh, strap broke right here, so let's take it apart and weld it. Cheap ass uh, spot welds from 100 years ago didn't hold. So, yeah, I got my cover plate on here. I don't have my extra insulating material on here, but yeah, there's enough on here with the wood and foam. So, over here, this side's all buckling out, which I didn't particularly like too much, but it's, uh, it is what it is, I guess. So, try to see up in there a little bit. I can't really want you to see in there, but. See it hits up against the frame way down in there. At least this whole box bow out a little bit. So a little bit out. I could put a hose clamp around the OD, but I don't like that too much. So we'll probably just leave it. Anyway, it's all on there. Got room for my wiring right here. This board's still semi-movable, so I can get a little more room in here if I need it. But, but other than that, it's in, it's mounted. All I gotta do now is Take the strap back off and fix it. But I do have access to get this out. This Allen I put in up under here. That's why you make this stuff so you can work on it. So, because I definitely want to pull this battery out for a while. Got to let it get form fitted in there, vibrate it around until it equalizes where it's going to be. Then we can take it in out easier. But for now, it's pretty tight. But uh, anyway, that's how you do it. I got the clamp fixed over here, strap. Tried silver solder at that, didn't work. Brazed it, stuck lightly, and I just wire fed it. That won't come off. So I got it all mounted back up in there. I put a little cushion back in there because it's tight. The battery kind of moves a little bit. I don't know if you can see on a camera or not. So we got a little bit of flux in it. So that's what we're after. So it's all pretty well mounted up on there now. So all I gotta do is figure out the wiring for it. Put my switch back up in here, but I'm sure that's temporary. This old wiring's a mess, so time to upgrade with some new wiring. 20 something years ago it was good enough, but yeah, a little better now on my wiring. This here is just not quite the right thickness, I think, for a motorcycle. So, anyway, got that part done at least. So, I'll probably move on to the uh, coil brakes like I talked about before. And, Get these things mounted. That and clean the crap out of the gas tank. It's pretty nasty. So, anyway, at least the battery's in.